Earthing, what you need to know about earthing. Earthing is one of the most important things when it comes to electric fencing. If the earth rods are not positioned in the right place or are not of good quality, then the shock will not be achieved. When choosing your earth rod, make sure that it's a two metre solid core galvanised earth rod. These rods must be driven full length to a depth of two metres. Earth rods need to be placed in a damp area. They need to be a minimum of two metres long. They need to be three metres apart and we need to run one continuous cable right through the earth system. When an animal touches your electric fence at the back of your property, all of that current flows from that point through the subsoil and back to the earth. It then travels up the earth rod, onto the cable and back to the electric fence unit. Only at that time do you get a shock and if there is anything between the animal and the earth system that impairs the earth then the shock will be limited. Once we've selected our position for our earth, preferably a wet or damp area all year round, we choose our cable to go between our earth rods. Now for this instance we use an insulated cable. And the reason we use an insulated cable is that this wire is lying on the ground 24-7, 365 days a year and it will rust. It'll be the first wire to rust and rust is non-conductive when it comes to electricity. So we want a protected cable running continuously through our earth rods. Once you've located your earth stake, position your cable and strip off the insulation, exposing the wire underneath to run through the earth clamp. Place the earth clamp or the wire through the earth clamp going over one bolt and under the next. That helps secure the cable to the clamp and makes it application to the rod easier. Place the earth clamp on the rod, tightening up both bolts evenly until the earth clamp and the wire are firmly attached to the rod. It's extremely important that the clamp is as tight as it possibly can be, making a positive contact between the underground cable, the clamp and the rod. And there we have it, a nice, firm, tight connection between the earth cable and the earth rod, including the clamp. Ensure that all wires are jointed securely. Connections to earth rods are secure. Earth rods are at least three meters apart. Earth rods are at least two meters long. There are sufficient number of earth rods. All parts of the earth system are made of the same metal. The earth rods are driven deeply into the soil, leaving 100 millimetres exposed. The earth rods are a minimum of 10 metres away from buildings or other electrified earth systems, e.g. house mains, underground power or phone lines.